everybody, Pat Huntoon here with Technique Junkies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Shimmering Bliss to create absolutely stunning backgrounds that you can stamp um, reverse image stamps with, and or really any stamp on top of, but reverse image backgrounds are absolutely wonderful with We're going to be using two stamps today, the 658 Elegant Mums, isn't that gorgeous? And so you see the white is to be colored here, but this is like a negative image because it's blacked out. So we're actually going to stamp that in black. And then the second one we're going to use today is called Tulips, 662 Tulips. So this is Tulips, and you can see again, but that the background is a negative image. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves today, it's because I was working with some stains and my fingers are really stained and they're very unsightly and I didn't want to gross anyone out. So, so we're using three colors. We're using the Just Squeezed Shimmering Bliss, this Wine Stained Shimmering Bliss, and the Dragon's Blood Shimmering Bliss. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we work with these. I'm going to spray the pieces and then I'm going to stamp it. So it's going to be a pretty quick video, but... I want to be able to get some points across to you on how to spray these, get this effect, how to spray these, because a lot of people always have this question for me. So first and foremost, you always roll them. Roll them back and forth. You really don't want to shake these because shaking them adds a lot of air bubbles to it, and it also pushes all the spray up into the nozzles. When you first see them, see how there's all this mica on the bottom? Can you see all that mica? It, it goes to the back. By rolling them, what you're doing is you're moving all that mica. See how the mica is cleared? So then what we do is start with the wine stain, and then I'm going to spray. And I'm going to just spray this randomly. I'm going to do two pieces at once, because why not? And first of all, way low to the cardstock. I'm really, really low, and I'm spraying in nice, long, even strokes. If I don't like the coverage of anything, I can go over it as many times as I want without ruining that color. So I'm going to go suck it with the, with the dragon's blood. This is the dragon's blood. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit lighter than the wine stain, but this is what gives us pretty color variations. Now with this one, I'm just going to go kind of go over the wine stain and over the edges. I like to go dark to light. It doesn't really matter. And then the third one we're going to use is this Just Squeeze. Now I'm using an older bottle of Just Squeeze. Sometimes when they get older, they stick a little bit or the humidity makes them stick. So if you have a bottle that is not spraying, so say I spray that once and then I can't see how I can't spray that anymore. What you need to do is just push it up with your fingertip. Just push the lid up. See the difference? Push the lid up. So I actually, because I know this bottle does this, I've had it for a while, it's been in my booth, it's been around the block, is I just push it up each time I use it. So, all that pretty color. This color is absolutely stunning in person. That one still is really, really wet. Can you see all that shimmer on there? Absolutely beautiful. So you could do a couple of things. You could either dry these using a heat tool, or, like I am going to do, I'm going to let them air dry, and then I'm going to come and set up my misty and come right back to you. So to show you what I'm doing here, I did put this on a black piece of paper just so you can get to see where the image is, and I could hold it down a little easier. And I'm, then I'm going to put this here. Now, my stamp is old, and it has been used a lot. So if you have a cling that looks a little iffy because you've gotten it dirty like I did, look at how dirty that is, it's kind of gross. You could just take some chapstick, and I like the cherry because of the smell. And put the chapstick on the back there. And what that does is it'll act as a cling agent. And it'll help the stamp hold to your stamp. positioner. So I am keeping this in the corner. And I have these two magnets here and here. And I am just going to use a black ink. Now I can use any kind of black ink use what you have but if you have a black ink with a stamp that has that much boldness that has a little bit more to the pad a more substantial pad you want to use that so I have a versifying clear here so I'm going to put this all over with the versifying clear moved over and out. so I'm just going to use my brayer to push that down a little bit and okay so it didn't stamp perfectly but it will but you can already see it's starting to be really beautiful so i'm just going to go over this a couple more times and i think one more time because we still have some areas here that aren't perfect i've stamped this a couple of times and the great thing about the uh 
the mystery or any stamp positioner is being able to do it over and over again until you're thrilled with results. Look at how beautiful that is. So that's how you use the Shimmering Bliss with the negative background. Let me show you the Mums card. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And the truth is you really don't need to do very much more to these cards. But all I have to do with this Mum card to make this uh, a truly gorgeous card. Just add this. I'll put it here. And look at that. A completed card just with a few steps and just a few minutes. So that's our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed the quick and easy way to use sprays to make gorgeous backgrounds with negative stamps or negative background stamps. And that's it. So thank you for uh, stopping by today and I hope to see you next time.